in 1910, 14% of all U.S. farmers were black. Today, that number is down to 1.4%. Now, as farmers of color say they are being uh, facing extinction, essentially billions of dollars in federal aid promised to them is on hold. Here to discuss is founder and president of the National Black Farmers Association, John Boyd Jr. John, thank you so much for being with us. And yes, let's talk about President Biden's rescue plan. Yes. It set aside $4 billion in debt relief for farmers of color. As we just said, a judge has put that aid on hold amid claims of reverse discrimination. Can you talk a little bit about why this debt relief, why this aid is so important to farmers of color? Well, you know, this is a, uh, a issue that goes back stems back to about three decades when I first started the issue. And debt relief will be important to uh, black and other farmers of color because we need the resources uh, to help sustain our farming operations. So here we were promised this money and, uh, and now it's lower and we still can't get it. And now we're being uh, held up in, in federal court around the country where uh, primarily large scale white farmers filed 12 different complaints in federal court. And, uh, you know, they really should be ashamed of themselves because they should understand what discrimination is. And they said, well, you know, it's reverse discrimination uh, uh, by black farmers and farmers of color receiving the aid. We're harming them. They don't know what discrimination is and what it feels like in this country. Uh, black people have been uh, slaves. Uh, we've been sharecroppers and survived the horrific laws of Jim Crow where we had to go through the back door and buying stations and, and grain elevators and things of this nature. And we've been discriminated against uh, uh, from a systematic uh, standpoint at the United States Department of Agriculture. And it's time for those things to change. And I'm challenging uh, those white farmers to come to the table and have a real conversation with the National Black Farmers Association. For those people who believe this is in fact reverse discrimination, I'd love for you to address that and talk about why you feel differently and why you don't think these lawsuits should be happening right now. Absolutely. And thank you very much, Amy, for that question. It's not, it's not reverse discrimination. When it was white farmers getting all of the debt relief all of the time, all, all of these decades, it's been them who's been getting the, the debt relief. Black farmers that were getting a 30-day uh, foreclosure. Uh, notice where you had to pay all of the money else they uh, start selling your farm like they did one of my farms and uh, when they say they reverse discrimination I said earlier in the top of the show that they don't know what discrimination is and what it feels like uh, to be called the n-word and, and uh, boy and colored uh, being seen by one day a week uh, by the local official in my home in my home county Wednesday we named it uh, Black Wednesday I had my application torn up and thrown in the trash can, and I've been spat on. And I would like to ask white farmers in this country that filed those lawsuits, which one of those uh, uh, issues did they endure? Were you ever called the, uh, a racial epithet and colored and, 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 and Negro and stuff like that? Uh, that's my challenge to them. Uh, and, and I said early on that we need to come to the table so that we can have a really a come home to Jesus conversation. <laughs> about what discrimination is and who's been getting the money. Uh, the top 10% in this country receive over $1 million in farm subsidies in this country, which is relief, your taxpayer dollars, and the average subsidy to a black farmer is roughly a couple hundred dollars. Uh, so you, you tell me who's been getting the money and who hasn't. And uh, really, this is about greed. They're saying they want all of the money. And I'm here to say uh, we're here and uh, black and other farmers of, of color have contributed to the American fabric in this country and made uh, cotton king and tobacco gold and peanuts and all these other uh, commodities. We contribute to the American fabric and we paid our dues uh, in this country. And we should be able to uh, uh, participate in those federal programs, uh, uh, farm and a lot of the other, other uh, companies here too, TJ, uh, John Deere and others who haven't uh, given back uh, to black farmers. Uh, I'm here today to say I support the strike of the employees. They should pay them. And, and the CEO getting 160%. Uh, John Deere hasn't contributed a dime to the National Black Farmers Association, but we continue to buy the high price uh, combines and million dollar combines and all of these things. We have a host of long list of issues uh, that need uh, uh, addressing. And I'm reaching out to uh, other black leaders in this country uh, athletes uh, uh, to, to sit down and support the uh, National Black Farmers Association. 
we are really struggling to keep up with these lawsuits in, in federal court, and it's because we don't have the resources to do that. John, you got my, uh, my heart racing and tears in my <laughs> eyes because what you described well, thank you. is what I grew up with because uh, yes. every single week in Arkansas, growing up, right. I went to Turrell, Arkansas, where my granddad was a farmer, yes. and he farmed wheat and cotton. And I saw so yes. much of what you described, and I see so much of him in you, actually, uh, as well, you talk you. here. Uh, everything good comes from the farm, my grandfather and daddy taught me. The importance of land ownership. My grandfather, Thomas Board, slept with his deed underneath his mattress hmm. because he knew that that's something that he could leave to his children. Mm, wow. You can't leave your PhD to your children, but he could leave his poor old raggedy farm to his children. He taught me that the land doesn't know any color. It never mistreated mm. anyone. And if I'm good to the land, the land will always be good to me. So the message is, buy some land. Wow. Oh. Can he come back for Faith Friday? Wow, John. <laughs> John. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, I don't, you. I, you feel so much listening to your story. It, it's, it's, you Thank can you feel your much. passion, and, uh, and we appreciate you being on the show today uh, so much, John Boyd Thank Jr. You. We learned a lot from you. Founder and president of the National Black Farmers Association. We appreciate your time, and we hope you come on back. Thank you very much, Amy. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.